Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for February 7th, 2023. Well, yesterday we had a few bears just kind of milling around, and it started off with a bit of bearishness yesterday, but those bulls immediately came in. So at the end of the day, um, the bears were not able to wrestle control. Um, away from the bulls at all. As a matter of fact, we ended up finishing the day pretty darn, pretty darn safe here. But I think there was a bit of an acknowledgement from the bulls of um, last week's over exuberance, and maybe we need a little bit of a rest here in the market. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Hey, good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here today. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a peek at these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market for today. So first off, let's uh, acknowledge here that the Dow continues to remain in this wedging pattern. And remarkably, we went from the Dow being the strongest of the indexes to now being the weakest of the indexes. However, yesterday's little selling that occurred um, here in the market um, uh, certainly didn't hurt anything here in the Dow. You'll notice that we pushed down here. We tested that 50-day moving average, which is that blue dashed line. We've got a 50, a 500, a 34 EMA, all providing that potential moving average squeeze here for um, that upside move. So watch that close. But at the same time, while we've got that going on, we still seem to be struggling with this um, resistance level here in the chart. Just not quite unable to deal with it just yet. And unfortunately, well, I should say fortunately, yesterday we actually saw in that resting pattern volumes pulled back. And I do think that might have been just a, a little bit of that recognition of the market that maybe we got a little bit carried away here in the short term of the market. So watching this closely, we currently hold this upside trend. There's nothing wrong here in the chart. Perhaps we're just going to slip into a bit of a resting pattern. And if you'll notice over here, that consolidating resting pattern, which had some volatility in it, but it really wouldn't be all that much out of the question if we just kind of rest here for a while, spill off some of this volatility. But you add in all of the earnings and economic reports and things coming our way. You know, it's pretty hard to get a, a clear read on this market. Um, there is so much hype and so much speculation and then still so much uncertainty on the path forward. Uh, the market is get likely to remain a little bit on the herky-jerky side. Let's take a look at that um, SPY. Now, SPY, SPY, QQQ, and IWM are still extremely extended stocks and the, uh, in our indexes. And the reason I say that is if we take a look at our moving averages, look how far we are removed away from our 50-day moving average. We are extremely extended. And when we go back over... Um, to this chart, and if I were to just mark this trend um, on the chart, what you're going to see is you're going to see a situation where we have a very parabolic move um, in this uh, in the chart. Now, we can correct that very easily without a major sell-off. We can correct that with just a resting consolidation. And you can see we pulled back in here into that little um, area of support yesterday. And it really wouldn't be out of the question if we just rest here for a little while. But having said that, with the with the um, kind of the energetic special speculation that's going on in the market, we could certainly see them contact somewhere in around this area of trend. Um, anytime soon and then continue that move to the upside. So if those bulls find, and here's the danger of this market, if those bulls find inspiration today, I want you to recognize the fact that the resistance level up here is a huge point move to the upside if those bulls get engaged. So if we really extend this out, 
um, and continue to stretch this up, we're going to run into significant levels of price resistance in the chart. Now, the other side of this is true as well. If those bears were to really engage here in the chart and we just looked at that 50 day moving average, well, keeping in mind, this would be a really big point move just to come back down here and test this area of support in that trend break. And it goes even further if we were to come back and test that 50 day moving average. So keep in mind, we still have the potential for some very big point moves in the market, raising the danger here. But I have to continue to say SPY is still overextended and really should get a bit more rest here in the market. I'm not saying it's going to, but it should. I'm going to say the same thing about the QQQ and I'm going to put the QQQ in the most overextended here in the market. If you'll notice um, in this chart, when we look at this pattern, this is just an extreme parabolic move to the upside here. And, and it's unlikely that that can be sustained very long. Can it be sustained for a while? Absolutely. But can it be sustained for a long period of time? That's unlikely. And so keep an eye on this. As we pull back into here, we still have a long ways to go if we're going to test some support. So just keep in mind, if the bears um, engage here today on uh, for some data or something out here in the market, then look for a pullback into here. That's going to be a big point move and it could be a very painful point move to be watching. So why, and just kind of keep that in mind. And then if those bulls were to engage here in the market, well, once again, if we continue this extension to the upside, that continues to raise the danger level of that big whipsaw or substantial overnight reversal pullback that could occur. And just keeping in mind, we're running into a fairly substantial level of price resistance if we push up there. Big point moves are possible, so make sure you're planning carefully your risk. If we look at IWM, I got to also say here the same in IWM. When we look at this chart, IWM is showing us that extreme parabolic move here in the chart. And unfortunately, we have a, a pretty, pretty substantial um, resistance level up here for us to try and get through. So if we were to stretch out and the bulls um, are inspired here today to push up there, just kind of keep in mind that's, that's going to be a push. And maybe we need to build some kind of a consolidation or some kind of a platform to be able to launch that kind of an attempt from. So just kind of keep that in mind. And if those bears find inspiration, well, we are unfortunately a long ways away from any reasonable price support um, in IWM. And that would be a pretty painful pullback. It wouldn't break the market at all. Um, it would just be painful in the pullback. And you can see even that would still be very extensive above its 50 day moving average. So we've got some work here, some decisions that still need to be made here in this market. And it makes for some dangerous conditions out there for retail traders. If we take a look at our um, VIX, well, first let's take a, yeah, let's take a look at the VIX. If we take a look at our VIX, a little bit of fear came into the market yesterday, but not enough to break the trend. If you'll notice here, we've been moving in this downside trend here. We did run up, maybe test the upside part of that um, um, early in the day yesterday, but those uh, bulls came back in defending. So no harm here in the chart. Again, I don't think we make any major changes here. I don't think um, anything terrible happens or I don't think we're going to see the bears take over unless we were to break through some of these resistance levels in the chart. And then even breaking through isn't the end all be all. We've got to prove to hold it as support. So breaking through and then holding up here someplace and pushing on higher, that's where the real trouble would come in. Um, but one of the things we do want to acknowledge is can, given the uncertainty that we have in the market, we may be just a little bit on that complacent side. Again, that over exuberance kind of displaying itself in our index charts. If we take a look at our T2122, our T2122 remains, well, not overextended, but 
certainly we're stretched out in those indexes. And although we relieved a lot of that pressure yesterday, we're back down here toward the mid range of T2122. Remember, T2122 doesn't give us the direction of the market unless we're in these extreme overbought or oversold conditions. It, it just hints and warns us that we may be a little bit stretched out in the short term. So having pulled back yesterday, if those bulls find some inspiration here, then watch for that potential. We've opened up a pretty good opportunity to move back up and retest those resistance levels in the chart. But we also have to acknowledge if those bears were to come in and show their teeth just a little bit, well, we could push down toward those support levels and we certainly have plenty of room to the downside to move to make that occur. If we take a look at our uh, T2108, well, I gotta tell you, T2108 is in an interesting situation. If I pull this all the way back, and you can see I've got data that runs back here into 2017, back here. If you look at this chart, you'll notice that it's a very rare thing when we can push our indexes so much that we can actually pop out of these levels. You can see we've run that attempt up here. We're up here in very dangerous position here in that extension on the market. Now, although we, we, we relieved some of that pressure yesterday, we're still in a very extended condition overall. And um, can we push on through to that up into there and get that severe extension going? Yeah, we certainly can. But we also have to acknowledge the fact that at any point in time, we could see those bears kind of take over for a little bit. And maybe it's just going to be a resting consolidation in the way that they take over, not necessarily a fall or a pull all the way back. But um, we'll want to watch that area in here. We have this chop zone between here and here. This is a good area of support. So if we were to pull back a little bit more, hold on to that support, we're, we're golden. If we break that down, if the bears kind of take over enough to break that, area down to the downside well things might get just a little bit more concerning maybe a little more shaky in the market uh, t2107 t2107 is also extremely extended again this goes all the way back to 2017 and you can see it's very rare in fact we had to have a situation here where we were so overextended at the end of 2021 that um, um, it's one of the last times that we've really been able to maintain um, our T2107, the percentage of stocks above the 200, above um, a level like that. So just keeping in mind that here, once again, we are extremely extended. And although we, we relieved a little bit of that pressure yesterday, it wasn't enough to really uh, make much of a change here at all. So keeping that in mind that if those bears um, were, were to engage, then we still have some substantial downside moves that could be made. And that can be a little bit painful if you're racing into trades um, or you're the last guy in the door uh, just before uh, those bears come around. So just watch that closely. Um, our T2101 um, has been showing us that extreme exuberance. And you can see we hooked here just a little bit yesterday. Um, that's that volume pulling back and maybe just a, that little bit of uncertainty coming into the market. So watch that close. If we take a look at our economic calendar for today, our economic calendar um, doesn't have a whole lot on it, but we have a couple of major things here that we want to be paying attention to. First off, um, we're going to have international trading goods. We'll want to watch that. That's been going the wrong direction here just recently. Um, so we'll want to keep an eye on that. With the dollar falling, um, international trade um, has been... Um, uh, you know, increasing uh, into those negative, really big negative numbers. It's always negative, but really big negative numbers here, here recently. So watch that close. We've got uh, Jerome Powell speaking here today, or um, um, uh, to the Economics Club, I think. So kind of keep an eye on that with the recent development of those um, jobs numbers. 
Um, he could sound a little bit more um, on the hawkish side, so we'll want to watch that today. Um, he could be the market mover of the day, so watch that. We also have bar speaking here uh, that we'll want to keep an eye on. We've got a three-year note auction and then consumer credit later on um, in the day. As you plan forward, keeping in mind we're going to have mortgage applications and then a more Fed speak um, coming in here tomorrow and petroleum status, um, um, but otherwise a light day except for those earnings reports. Speaking of those earnings reports, let's jump over there. We have about 80 companies listed on the calendar today um, that could be reporting. Um, and um, I've pulled out a list of what I believe are the notables for the day. If you guys want to catch the full list of notables, make sure you click the link just below the title of the video in the description of the video. That'll take you back to the morning blog and you can catch that full list of notables. I'll run through a few of them. Uh, BP has already reported this morning, reporting record, um, record um, earnings and pushing back up here to all time highs here in BP. So keep an eye on that. We're going to hear from uh, CMG, uh, Chipotle will be reporting. So um, watch that one closely. It looks like we're gapping a little bit higher here this morning. Again, we're pressing resistance levels. And if you remember, Chipotle came out and, and kind of said, um, sales are slowing so um, watch that closely um, we're going to um, hear from ENPH today we're going to hear from um, HRB we're going to hear from I, um, ILMN today um, INCY we're going to get some insurance in here from Prudential we're going to hear from VVV today and um, last but not least, um, YUMC will also be reporting today. So um, if you caught right after the bell yesterday, there was a mix of results last night. So uh, market may be just a little bit uncertain this morning heading into the open. Let's take a look at um, some charts that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could please do me that favor and click those thumbs up buttons, leave a brief comment. That helps the channel to continue to grow. Thank you for those who share this video out on their social media feed. And also just a huge shout out to those folks that are supporting the channel through the Buy Me A Coffee link. It's just right below the title of the video, right down there um, in that description um, where I've got the blog post link. And um, thank you to everyone who supports the channel that way. I do truly, truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at some of these charts that could be setting up and let's keep in mind, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, we're going to have to do our, your own due diligence and making sure that these trades fit you personally. And understanding that we have some big potential point risk in these indexes, we need to plan those trades very carefully and making sure that we're not over trading um, a market that has so much uncertainty in it. So to start off with, let's take a look at um, um, UUP here. UUP has come on my radar and kind of interesting. Um, uh, this is the US dollar and what we've seen here uh, the last few days is we've been seeing those interest rates or those bond rates, um, bond yields going higher. And um, that has been strengthening the dollar as well. We're seeing that dollar perk back up. So watch that closely. Anytime we're in a rate rising environment, we typically see the dollar going higher. And um, it's been kind of an interesting situation with other countries finally getting, getting involved in raising their rates and fighting inflation. That has weakened the dollar here substantially um, just recently. So as you can see, the dollar is spiking up, breaking that downtrend. Now this doesn't make a trade for me. Um, what I need to see is this rest or console, excuse me, rest or consolidate back into here and hold a higher low. And then I'd be looking for UUP to move. If the dollar is going to be stronger, if that dollar strengthens, we might want to be a little bit careful because a strengthening dollar is often one of those things that creates a little bit of weakness 
in the market itself. So watch that closely. Um, you can also see that that activity of um, rates being um, bond rates going higher, bond yields going higher, um, is being reflected here in the TLT. Now I've been holding TLT for the long term upside move um, in this chart, and in my long term chart, there's nothing wrong here. I'm just resting in this consolidation move, looking to see if those bulls will step on in and push this up. Uh, up. However, having said that. If the dollar strengthens, this is going to become a problem because if we see those bond yields continuing to rally, TLT is likely to pull back. So watch that closely. And again, if TLT is pulling back, it, it's likely that acknowledgement um, here in the market of fear of more rate increases coming and um, that could have that negative effect on the overall market index. So watch that closely. Other charts that you may want to be paying attention to out there, and there are a bunch of them. Um, I, I made mention yesterday of this AMD. I am holding a small position in AMD, and it's a stock position, and I want this to turn into a long-term stock position. But for now, um, I'm just waiting here. As you can see, we stretched up here. We went way to extend it again. That parabolic move um, makes me want to stay away. There's nothing about that that says that is a stable or a chart that I want to be a buyer in just yet. If that were to rest or consolidate, pull back, find some support in here, then I'll have more of an interest in that trade. Um, so I'm just kind of biding my time. If we look at a trend out here, that could take a long time for that potential pattern to set up. But I do think it's worth keeping an eye on some of these charts as they rest or pull back because they could move sooner than expected. Let's take a look at some other places in the chart that are kind of interesting. If we take a look at Walmart, Walmart's running into, has run into some significant problems here. And as you can see, we have failed here along that 50 day moving average. What I want you to notice here is that 50 day moving average is rounding over. It's what we would call a rounding top. And if you kind of look at this closely, you can kind of see a pattern in here of a M pattern. That would be a double top against that 50 day uh, moving average. Um, you could spell murder here, um, starting to spell murder um, on Walmart. So watch that carefully. We're getting this impression that retail is fantastic, but we're also seeing a lot of data saying that the consumer is stressed. The um, subprime um, loan defaults are reaching record levels right now, and they're in, in serious default. So um, that would kind of fly in the face that the consumer is really, really strong if some subprime um, loans are um, running into major issues. So watch that closely. If we were to break this price support in here, I think um, Walmart uh, may have some more downside here in the market. Now, I wouldn't chase it here short. What I need to do is I need to see this bounce and rally back up and then look for that next opportunity short in uh, Walmart. Don't want to chase the short just like I don't want to chase the long. Um, let's take a look at some other um, retailers out there that are kind of interesting. Um, take a look at Costco. Costco has been one of those that has been holding up pretty well. And notice that we were trying to sneak out from underneath that downtrend here in the chart. Unfortunately, we're just not quite making that decision here just yet and noticing that we have that resistance in the chart that stopped us here. Um, um, we could be trying to turn the corner. Um, on this, but we are very uncertain in some of these retail stocks. And so I think we've got to be very, very careful. Costco could easily be watched for a potential long or a potential short. If we were to put in a lower high over here, I'd look for a short. If we can hold up in here and rest and start moving higher, I'd look for a long. 
but watch that closely and, and, and there's a lot of retail um, um, looking like that now if we take a look at some of the discount retail out there it's interesting that it's not showing um, that bullishness at all discount retailing is showing some pretty substantial bearishness here so dollar general falling um, hitting that resistance showing that bearishness here in the chart uh, dollar tree um, also continuing to uh, well we had this strong rally to the upside but continuing to hit into these resistance areas in the chart and this is another one of those 50 50 will we hold this support and rally or will we continue to uh, um, key off of that downtrend and show that failure in those charts there's a lot of those out there let's take a look at energy energy is another area of the market that's been well kind of interesting here we shot up really hard last month uh, pushing um, XLE right back up here to that all-time high here in XLE pushing that resistance level in the chart and then we saw this strong selling coming in and we're seeing a little bit of weakness happening now if we we see weakness in in oil remember one of the major reasons that we see weakness in oil is because of a weakening consumer if demand is falling then we see oil stocks pull back so watch that carefully if this really is that situation where demand is falling it may be giving us that clue that the consumer isn't as strong as we've been led to believe and if you look at this um, potential in here if we were to rally up into these resistance areas that would potentially set up a short position in the chart and you can see we've already slipped back below that 50-day moving average so you'll want to watch that pretty carefully so I, I did these stocks just to kind of give the acknowledgement there are some clues out there that we may be having this little bit of uncertainty this little bit of shift that could be happening so be aware be careful here in the market don't over trade um, don't get caught up in the fear of missing out this might be the time to be uh, taking a little profit and pulling back just a little bit um, until some of these decisions get made everyone I want to wish you all a fantastic day have a uh, I wish you great results in your trading and we'll see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning I wish you all the best